what up? You saw the thumbnail, so you know what this is going to be. But it's an easy project to do. It's fun. We're going to do a little fabricating today, a little wood fabrication. So I'm going to be using just a couple of scraps of wood that I had laying around because it's a shame to waste this, and they're only little short cutoff pieces. Like I said, you know what I'm going to make. You saw the thumbnail. But I'll show you how easy it is. And uh, I've got some uh, MDF, medium density fiberboard, I think is what it stands for. I just got a, a scrap piece of this. Well, I shouldn't say scrap. Um, it's just a piece I had laying around that I've used for a couple of other different projects. So we're gonna make the backer out of that, cut some pine, we're gonna router the edges. A Little bit of paint, a little bit of spray on lacquer. Easy project, you can do it in probably well under an hour. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so here's all our pieces. I cut six pieces out of that one by two stock and cut the other one up. Split that one. Let me show you how it goes together real quick. So it's gonna be like this. Bang bang. Let's make sure everything is looks like it's gonna fit well. The fitment, as it were. Yeah, we look good. Yep. I'll just throw these ones back here like so. And yep, looks like everybody's done been measured correctly, y'all. So that's basically what the what it's gonna go together like. So now I'm just gonna router the edges. Probably put a 45 on the edges. You could do it by hand, you could sand them. Um, I happen to have a table router, so let's uh router the edges. And uh oh, and I also dug out a little package of these things. Uh these are pre-cut. So we'll just put three on it and call it good. I've got all the edges routered. It's not quite a 45, but it looks good. And I cut out some of the uh, MDF. So now I'm gonna probably burn these to make them look better and then we'll paint them. Yeah, that's what we'll do. give each piece a little burn like that that should make it look a little more textured more rustic I think it gives them a little more character and even if you're gonna paint them you just burn them a little bit kind of follow the grain did the stars a little bit too so let's get these painted so here's the parts they're painted um, and I also sprayed them with a little bit of clear wood finish. But as you can see, that's why I burned them. You see the way that the, the, the wood grain really pops? And, uh-oh, my Rottweiler's blocking. Oh, that's because there's a, I think it's a jogger. Oh, she got a dog, too. That's why he's barking. But anyway. He doesn't bark much, they're rotties. And I took, uh, this is the uh, MDF, I drilled it, countersunk the holes, because I'm gonna screw these on as well as a little dab of glue, because I want this to last. Um, and you could glue them all together, you know, and, and make, uh, uh, you know, reverse the grains and all that, but it's still gonna flex, and I just wanted to keep flat, that's why I'm using backing. And that's just uh, some Duplicolor, truck bed coating little light coat you can kind of still see the wood through it I did that on purpose just kind of speckled it you know 
And then there's the uh, clear wood finish that I use, as well as, I got the other two colors over there. I got red, white, and blue uh, Krylon acrylics, and that's it. So let's, uh, let's put this together, and we'll show you the uh, end product. So I've got all the uh, panels, a little dab of glue and a screw in each one. That will also allow this to flex and move uh, with moisture, dampness, things like that without um, you know, breaking, warping, all that stuff. Uh, but I think it's nice, looks good. So now let's get the stars on. So this is where I'm gonna position my stars. And what I did uh, was I used what's called a Forstner bit. And I just barely scuffed the surface, like a sixteenth of an inch, if that, just a little buzz. And that gives the hot glue, because I'm gonna use a hot glue gun just for the stars. And I've scuffed the back of the stars to make sure they're good and uh, you know ready for glue. And the reason I'm not gonna use regular wood glue is because then you'd have to clamp them and you don't have to clamp very hard, but still, it'd kind of be a pain to get clamps and stuff. You know, hot glue has its uses. It's not good for anything structural. Um, I use just regular white wood glue on each panel with a screw. Two screws on each of the big panels. Two screws here, one screw in each panel. And then, anyway, you get the idea. So, I'm going to glue these stars on, and then uh, we'll be done. Okay, stars are on. I'm gonna put a one of these sawtooth hangers on the back. I'm not gonna do that on camera. It's just a couple of small screws. And I might shoot this with another coat of the uh, clear wood varnish. But uh, that's it, ready for hanging. Patriotic, screams America. And it's easy to do. You could do all these cuts with a handsaw and you could sand them by hand. I just happen to be spoiled uh, with power tools. But anyway, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.